that your undergraduate degree or was that your your graduate degree that you got last week or oh uh, well i mean i already graduated in the summer but my my mom wanted me to walk so i was yeah that was for my undergrad so yeah they were they were pretty excited about that what was the feeling i mean did you, could, could you compare graduating to uh, to maybe catching a, a game winner or having a hundred year game what, was, what are those two feelings like um i mean they're both pretty emotional moments but i mean I, I don't know football like when you're on the field you're just in the moment you just got all that adrenaline going you're just playing your game but i mean uh in graduation you're able to sit back and be like wow this is like really happening so i mean they're both pretty emotional moments but yeah it was it was pretty fun uh, Brandon, what's, what's this year been like for you? Um, you know, going from last year where you had a totally different role and mm -hmm. um, kind of emerging as a as a star on this offense. Uh, it's been so surreal. Like like you said last year, my role was a scout team, like backup. But I mean, this year, I, I mean, my work's finally showed up. I put in the work these past four years to finally showcase, like on the field during the game. So I mean, it's pretty emotional. But I mean, this is all all that I worked for. What kind of work went into it? So, because I'm sure it was a lot more than just oh the, the physical work in the off season, right? Yeah, it's really a lot of it was mental too. Because like coming as a walk on from a junior college, there's like really like mentally tough like situations. Like before, I was about to like give up and go to another school or just like continue my education somewhere else. But like that, I mean, it was really tough. But I mean, I had to just come o overcome that mentally, and my physic physicality was all there because I mean. I've been playing football for a while, so that wasn't really too big, too big of a problem. But it was more mental for me because, like, as a walk-on, you have to do things for yourself. And then, like, finally getting put on scholarship and then everything finally clicking for me my senior season, was, it's, it's pretty awesome. So did you ever contemplate walking away from football? Yeah, yeah. It was actually, uh, when was it, last summer? Like, that's when I got my scholarship. So that was, like, really, like, like relieving because I get to call my parents so and tell them because we were all looking for like where where should I go like should I keep playing football or should I just go home and finish my my degree so uh, yeah it was a pretty tough situation was there anybody or, or maybe something that uh, you know kept you going before um, the scholarship yeah my my parents my family I mean I'm over here working because both of my parents didn't go to college and my sister she's the first one in our family to go to college and finish so it was my my parents my family and my sister was a big uh, big inspiration. Does that, um, sorry, does, that, does that make it even more special to be an academic All-American with, with the, you know, both your parents not going to college and kind of, kind of setting a trend for the family maybe? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, this is what I've worked for. So, I mean, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it big. Did you, did you have that as a goal before the season, becoming an academic All-American? Did, did you know it was possible or did you know the requirements or anything like that? No, I was just really just trying to keep my head down in the books and just try to be the best I can in the classroom. I, I didn't even really know it was a thing. And then, like, um, Bill called me the other day and I was like, I thought he was talking about first team Pac-12 academic. And then like I told my family and my godmother and they were like, well, it's, it's all, 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 uh, all American. And I said, wow, like, oh, I thought it was just first team Pac-12. They're like, oh, this is a pretty big thing. I was like, oh, that's pretty awesome. So. How did you get in, uh, interested in uh, uh, management information services? Well, t actually, I was debating between M MIS and finance, but I don't know why I keep saying MIS because my, my degree is in finance. But like I was tr interested in technology and like finance and money, so that's what really got my interest. So my yeah, my degree's in finance. Did, did any of your school projects uh, intersect with football? Did you did you apply any of that your projects to football? Um, I mean teamwork and like time management and the hard work. In your own personal. Yeah, so uh, nothing, nothing really just incorporated between football and uh, school, but I mean just the hard work and just working on and off the field, like with managing your time, is really what kind of correlated between football and school. Mm -hmm. I know you mentioned all the hard work you've put in. Coach Leach a few times this year has mentioned that, you know, you're probably not the most athletic receiver mm -hmm. on the team, but he does call you reliable and says, uh, you know, you're at the right spot at the right time consistently. What is it about that? Uh, I guess what is the secret to the success? It's consistency. Just like, like in the classroom, too, you just got to keep going and going and just like doing the same thing over and over as perfect as you can. So really consistency is what got me here. Has it been nice to have these kind of few weeks to really fully heal? Because I believe there's been three games that you haven't been able to finish because of kind of nicks and bruises this year. Has yeah, I got beat up a little uh, towards the end of the season. But, yeah, it's always good to have some time away from football and focus on school because finals was just this past week. So, yeah, it's always nice to get a little bit of time to recover. And, I mean, I'm good now, so. You feel like you're 100% going yeah. into the bowl, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'm ready. How excited are you to uh, see that one more time in a Cougar uniform? Yeah, I mean, it hasn't hit me yet, but my coach has been telling all the younger guys, you guys better just take advantage of this because you're going to 
wake up and then you're going to be like Brandon, a senior, that your last game. And I'm like, dang, like that's true. Like, I don't know, I've been talking with the other seniors. Like, this is like one of our last practices in Pullman. So I really just try to take advantage of it, have fun, and be happy. What do you expect from Air Force? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't really watched too much film, but I mean, military academy, I expect them to be disciplined, pretty sound. But yeah, I, was, I watched something on, uh, on, on online. They were like, how do we troll like a military academy? And I was just talking to my family, like, how are you going to go there and talk like talk smack to them? It's like they're serving for us in the future. It's like, I don't know. But I mean, I expect like some disciplined guys, hardworking dudes. They kind of, they kind of run that, that, that triple option offense, a lot of running. Have, have you ever played against maybe in high school or JC? Have you ever played against triple option offense or played with any triple option offense before? No. In high school, I'm actually not sure. I forget what kind of offense we played in because uh, my freshman year of high school is my first year, so I didn't know anything about football. I just did what they told me to. But, I've, yeah, I've never played against triple option or, like, been in a triple op uh, option offense. So, I mean, it'll be pretty interesting to see. I mean, you see it in, like, NCAA and stuff like that. But. I think it's also interesting that the, 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 the two styles of offense can draft so much. I mean, you probably mm -hmm. couldn't have two more different styles between the air raid and the triple option. I think that you guys are top of the country in uh, passing attempts. They're, I think, third in rushing attempts. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see. As well as, like you said, completely opposite offenses. And then you mentioned you didn't pick up football until freshman year of high school. Yeah, I played soccer like my whole life, and then my mom wanted me to wanted me to be a kicker. So I was like, I'm not gonna be a kicker. I might as well just try to play receiver or something. So, and then I just kind of stuck with it. And then out of uh, high school, you ended up at, Ch at uh, Chaffee, right? Chaffee, yeah, Chaffee. that's a junior college back home. Did you have any offers out of school? Um, like D three schools like around the area, and but nothing like too major that I would have I would have gone to if I had something like like worth going to but the other ones were just like in-state tuition or just like academic scholarships no like athletic scholarships so that's why I like I could have walked on here out of high school but I was like I'm gonna take my chances and go to junior college but uh, it wasn't my favorite so that's why I just walked on here after a year you have a favorite cheese it style cheese it oh uh, white cheddar or original okay. that was my favorite <laughs> and then if you don't mind me asking what are yep. your plans for uh, after your time here uh, I plan on finish my master's program because that's uh, I'll be done in 2021 of um, May, so that, that I mean that's all online too, so I could just do that anywhere. But yeah, I don't know. I still got to figure that out. <laughs> but yeah, I still got a little bit of time for sure. Yeah. Guys, good with Arco.